Um, call the meeting to order at 12.02 ish. Um, Laurel Desnick, Chair. Heidi Johnson, Member. Dan Baker, City of Livingston. Mike Skagg, City of Livingston. Miss Elizabeth McAmey, Tree Board. Myra Emperly, Tree Board. So absent is Tom Shans. Uh, Maureen. Maureen Lehizer. Melissa. Melissa is not here. Sarah and well, Sarah Boyle is not. Oh, actually, yeah, here comes. You can see her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, you're good. So the reason for this meeting is that we, um, the tree board, has historically done an RBA activity of some kind, and we are actually required as a tree city. That's one of the conditions. Um, this year we talked about. Uh, it coincides also with Native Plant Month, April, and, and so your proclamation. It's like getting burned. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it. Great. Anyway, but yeah. Great. We'll pass that around. Um, we have two options, and it's quite possible we can do both. One is the city county library. And the other is the museum, both public spaces, um, both very receptive. And so we have a little bit of plans. We've just been very informally trying to get come up with something uh, that fits our budget and our time schedule. So um, the library, it's looking like uh, a tree with some lower planting around it, bird friendly, butterfly pollinator friendly. Um, and then over at the museum, it has morphed and morphed and morphed. And I just took a turn around here this morning. And they have a bed that needs some help out in their front yard um, that can just be sort of perked up with probably just native plants. That tree, they're not ready. They have a lot of trees. They're not ready. They're sick, but they're not ready to do anything about that. And so just work on that, that daily iris bed. Um, so those are the two options. We can do one or the other or both. The library does not want particularly an event. They would like some signage. The museum would love an event, particularly on that Saturday the 29th, because that's their family day. And whether we just put signs up and people look at it, or whether we stand there or we plant that day up in the air, but that's where it stands. So, so that, as far as the library, I had gotten sketches from, from Mitch before, and I when I finally got this, you know, I sent him the PDF asking if he could then start spreading word um, through libraries. And said so he's going to be getting back to me with a meeting some this week, so today, tomorrow. Um, but but yeah, and I see where you know trees have been cut down, and there's a perfect spot for a tree that's been locked, you know, cut down right there in front. Um, but I was hoping to... he'd get more involved with the native, you know, the whole native plant idea around. Oh, um, and and celebrating like Arbor Day. Mm -hmm. Um, he is completely overwhelmed and does not want part of any planning, and said so that was up to us. Okay, that was two days ago. Well, okay, now, that's kind of my information. No, no, that's kind of what I mean. Why did <laughs> I have a sense that he was a spot spot and now work around us? Okay. Yeah. It is unfortunate that Arbor Day is the end of the month when we want people to notice, but. It's also much too early for most plants or right planting. So I think it's okay. And that's the whole thing with Native Plant Month. And it, you know, I'm going to go back at this again next year and then work to get a law in place that makes it permanent so that every April could be native. But you're right, when this ground is, yeah, it's early for us. Yeah, yeah. he didn't have a sketch of any design. He just said, just 
go for it, and then that will be the beginning yeah. of it, and they'll okay. And we've made measurements and all of that as well as the now that I could kind of read right. between the lines that he was overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Were there any stumps that need to be removed if we plant or through there is? I mean, as I drove by the other day, yeah, the, the right side at in the at the front and on the right, that tree was it was just cut at ground level. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. So that would add to cost if we put it in the spot same spot. I don't know who he had as far as um I can't remember who was helping when I was helping to you know clean up some of the landscape there and whether uh, we may have a couple of volunteers that have equipment and get somebody to volunteer you know to do that I and mean, I could you know look at that and see who, who's got you know yeah. who could do that versus you know really maybe paying for it but kind of as a as a gift to the library or so the whole plan um, we were looking at the side, I don't know if you can quite see it, but like the side where there's just the dirt right now where the, all the sod has been removed. Mm -hmm. Right. That, yeah. That's yeah. where the tree and, was cut. Yeah. So there was a tree that was removed kind of right in the middle of that pad. Right. And mm -hmm. the sort of the idea, the proposal is, so these, these tall, I don't know if you can, because I know it's really small, but these taller trees here on the side, these are all going to be removed as best as they can. They obviously know that there's a, there's a. There's an older tree in here that's become part of the foundation. <laughs> so they're going to be removing that as best they can. Um, so the, one of the proposed ideas was to actually not plant right in the middle of this pad, but to plant kind of like towards this, this little corner here. Mm -hmm. So that with a more ornamental tree that doesn't get very large, right. so that it, it stays in its, mm -hmm. its own place. <laughs> Japanese wildlife or something. Um, actually, my recommendation was a bristlecone pine. Um, they're beautiful trees. That's they only get them. they only get about twenty feet tall, and they're neat. They they grow very slowly, and they're very they grow to, they get to be very old, hundreds of years old. If they they're very drought tolerant, and they like to not be sitting in water. So for an, a space that they're going to be planting this dry, they're native to the Rocky Mountain region. They're not necessarily native to Montana. I've had some very good success with them where I live, um, and I've seen them planted kind of in different places throughout town. So they're doing really pretty well. And they do not intend to water. No, no we're spring water. talking about that, but mm -hmm. right. A little bit. As little, things get established. A little bit. But I think planting that's been done in the past didn't get water dried. So I mean they just have to approach it, but um the water may be frequent. Um, mm -hmm. but but what is this about it. snow? Is it piling mounting where you um use all your snow to kind of then walk, rather than having it running off into the street you're putting it into the bed area mm -hmm. and that kind of it was great it doesn't like bows my yeah. to keep their snow <laughs> i hear where it blows off you know it's gone so quickly but I, I picked up on that i thought oh my god did that work in my garden I just, I mean, there's weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Today. Yeah. Actually, no, it's no. already dried out. It's already yeah. Out. Uh, yeah. Um, but I don't know, because we had talked about the um, drip, or I know there's some broken pipes there. That, I mean, it's a mess. Yeah, um, he said they might over time put in a little bit of drip from the surface, but they're not going to turn the sprinkler system back on. It's broken and they're not going to fix it. I don't know. This would have been a lot of cement. Yeah. Um, so I guess we can break it down into two. Number one, how do we feel with the library? And Mitch has a little bit of a budget. He did. Yeah. So we checked on the cost of the tree is going to be somewhere in the 300 range. We'll, for a we'll take care of it. You'll take care of the tree. Oh, you will? And give me a bill. Oh, it's Cashman. And they're coming in in the next week or two. Yeah, yeah we'll take care of the tree. Okay, great, great. That'll be the city contribution. Oh, oh, oh yeah. super. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. And so it's going to be you like take a four. Care of the tree. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Here's some work for you. <laughs> um, you know, so, and then we were just going to have a planting of, you know, shrubs and perennials, not a lot, probably half a dozen, well, not an even number, but. 
something around there. So there's so then that'll be our contribution. Is that does that work? I'm gonna take care of the tree. Okay. <laughs> um are you gonna pick it up or can we just go get it? Uh they deliver it all day. It, yeah, but it's there's a fee for that. I, we have the capability of picking it up. So. If you pick it up, um, and um, so I'm retiring at the end of the month. Mike is in uh, in the meantime is going to be taking over. I don't know about long term. So if you would message him, um, I can give you his email if you like. Great. M <laughs> Skaggs S K A G G S at LivingstonMontana.org. And if you can supply him with an invoice, uh, the city will take care of the cost of the tree. Okay, great. And this is you. This is me. Right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, that's really not okay. Okay. <laughs> that's so good. Great. Um, that's awesome. So, and we just pulled the planting diagram for the Eastern Rockies High um, for a uh, bird friendly, pollinator friendly, and we're just adapting. I, I, I do uh, okay. like the choice of tree, but if it's not going to be watered, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, so we'll have to have a water in the schedule the first at least years. I think we're going to have to get volunteers from the library, or there was a core group that yeah. started. And yeah, I, I mean, that, there's no reason to invest. There's no reason money. to invest. No. And yeah. then I won't be able to water, but I'm going to have to go there and water it. Okay. I can't live with it. Yeah, you something so, for more of a shade tree? No, I like the choice of tree. Okay, you like the choice of tree. Yeah, no, I, 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 whatever you choose is fine. I did. Um, we saw what happened last year when trees weren't watered. With, yeah, yeah. And so uh, if we want that same result, then yeah, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think we do. Think we're hundred percent. Yeah. So we'll have to find out how to get water. Yep, yeah. and that's probably why we are opting for public ground so not a homeowner or not you know this way we can have maybe a schedule some yeah. built-in plan to make it work yeah. and so i think with the, the you know if it were the library i think yeah. then i think if part of my got this little book on, on native plants and you know nature's best hope and is coming so giving a book to the library getting children involved or having a a garden or landscaping that they're proud of and want to help continue sure. to, to maintain it. So, I mean, that's in my mind and something I wanted to talk to Mitch about too. Well, and that's an option. If you're going to pick up the tree, oh, then we have. We're going to pay for the tree. Pay for the tree. I mean, <laughs> so, being so, so clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That would be right. Um, then maybe we can actually provide. A little few books on native planting, or you know, do the signage so people can see it, and make it a more of an educational setting. Well, that was that was my hope. That and so for what you know, word I can spread at least you know, well, it's going to be this month and and next, and try and put the word out about native plants and what you know what it brings or what the, you know the gift it is to the community and and the children. So we're yeah. trying. To, I think it's a huge educational opportunity so do we want so we need a big hole <laughs> actually you know the the balls on the it's been a few years but the balls on the bristol pump pines typically are huge yeah what size three are you going to get like uh, a two inch three inch? Or four or five foot they, the pines they sell in foot instead of so the balls could be like day day okay. yeah probably Not so i mean i can dig we can you know that's we can go pick the spot. Um, it's a tricky spot to dig to because it's elevated. So you can't really get equipment in there. So mm -hmm. hand digging that hole is unfortunately. Digging. But like I said, those pines, they typically don't have a chance. And then amendments of the soil if needed, although that should be too much. And, mm -hmm. and then the smaller plants. So do we want, do we want an event or do we want, are we happy with doing this planting? when the tree is available and then just using signage and let the library promote so that we are not call the newspaper or whatever but um well they were not Mitch totally not, interested yeah no if Mitch isn't gonna get too involved um then you know I think that we need to get more involved or I think there should be something that seems mm -hmm. kind of sad mm -hmm. not to have an event of some sort yeah. and connecting with doing some PR around it. 
I know recently, um, I mean, enterprise, I think that's going through its own growing, changing pains. But the, and then there is the new, um, the lady that's buying NC Print, her mm -hmm. name is Beth, but she started a paper that she used to do she did, called, was it the Community Journal yeah, or yeah. something? It's mm -hmm. back, but she, so mm -hmm. her first issue came out that she showed me, oh, I see. and it was weightier yeah, than the Enterprise. Yeah, Steph is the one who used to write the Community yeah. Journal, yeah. Yeah. And she works at NC Prince. I don't know. Oh, she, I didn't know that. Yeah. She's yeah, no, it just yeah. like last week. So the first edition, I mean, kind of like we're back. Mm -hmm. And there was some good stuff in there. And I yeah. thought, so she, she would get it. And I think it comes out a couple times a month. So there's something else coming out this month. But she, I think, would be happy to, you know, promote. And, uh, so, so I'm just trying to get my, yeah. mind, my mind going now that I finally have this and how I start to, you know, get the word out yep. PR-wise. So maybe, um, okay, so and this is just the library and then we also have the museum. So maybe what we do is settle the design mm -hmm. and you, yep, thanks for bringing that. Mm -hmm. And then um, Karen Reinhardt wanted to go she um, Mark is out right now, so Karen is the one at the museum, and look at that bed. And it's actually <laughs> that shape, but right? mm -hmm. um, and then so we're sure we have the money, and then at that point we pick the date and a planting plan, and we could maybe do that by email. When we don't have an official meeting, do people know when you can't reply to all? You can just reply to the sender, and then it's not a public meeting. And so we can communicate. Be very careful. But be very careful. <laughs> yeah. oh. Just reply only to me or share or whoever sent it, not to all, because then we're outside of the public meeting laws. I have a couple questions about what, what you all have been discussing here. Um, so the library doesn't want an event. The museum is okay with an event. The museum wants us to join their event on the 29th, which is a big their family event. Okay. I missed that. Yep. It's, it's they have an existing event that day. On Saturday the 29th. Okay. And this will be that's, um, that's different from what we discussed last meeting. So. Right. Okay. So I'm just worrying. So, right. So their event is in what? It's called Family Day, and they have ex the museum is open, they do outside stuff. They, I don't know what's planned for this spring, but they'll often have a blacksmith and somebody cooking on an open fire and kind of historical activities like going to Virginia City or Bannock. Where they just do like fun stuff, and will you? You, I take my family to it. Usually, it's free on um, the last Saturday of the month to take your family there, and it's fun. And they have little like features for each month, and so. And so, does this satisfy the? We have this requirement from. Please look at the grant that we have an event, right? Is that right? I have never seen the grant. To be honest, I don't know what the actual criteria are. I know that. We're obligated to have an event and plant a tree, and according to yeah, that's the tree board yeah. retreat, it can be any time. It doesn't have to be on or over day. Oh, okay. That's what they said. I have not seen that in writing. I don't know where this grant lives. Well, last year, I just took the Arbor Day flag and hung it up behind the fence on Washington's wall when we had the kids come and help plant a tree. So it was not a... Not a huge event, but yeah, do something at the farmers market when it opens as part, you know, bring that banner and direct people to the new tree at the library and so forth. We can even bring it while we plant. That's where you get it automatically the most people, right? Yeah, I mean, we could bring the banner with us when we plant the tree at the library too. Oh, Mitch will be happy to hang it. They have that sign there, and I said, why don't you just change your sign to need a plant one? Yeah. Because he wanted to take it down because the sign is torn. We're like, just get me a sign. So he was going to look at that. Yeah. I'm trying to get together with him. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now that I, I'm clearer on what the issue is, I have, I have to go in with the right kind of plan in mind or attitude yeah. to be able to talk. I mean, I, I I guess it's not fair to say no event, but we were going to promote it in different ways probably than you know, inviting people to a tree planting, we can. I don't know what people's schedules are and what everybody wants. 
Oh, well, you're done last year. The school didn't show up. We did it through Farm to School, and so mm -hmm. Farm, we did it with the kindergartners at Washington School, mm -hmm. and so um, Farmer Megan had a class of kids, and we just um, she had a hole already dug, and we planted some, uh, a bare root tree in the hole, and the kids learned about caring for the tree and planting the tree. That's going to take out some worms. I'm just curious, the school here wanted to get involved if it was through the week. On a Friday, we could. Um, there's all kinds of little kid schools around that would probably walk over. Or age or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at three o'clock. Yeah, like good we idea. a wine ins class could maybe come over yeah. or yeah, east side. So yeah. if somebody does take a picture, there's a group there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. I'm going to call Patty at wine ins and see if she has a send call us on that. Or you can send your I can call Patty. My daughter's over there in first grade. <laughs> okay. Um, she's the principal at Winans. That's the closest right. walk. We don't necessarily want them crossing. Yeah. Uh, so that's Friday the 28th. <clears throat> I guess the, the only thing that hinges on is if the tree is available before then. Right. Because they knew it was coming, but they don't know if it's, you know, I, I'll get back in touch with them when we decide a size and put one on hold, and then they'll call me when it comes in. So. Yeah, I know it's very early. Where is it spring on the 28th of April in America? Washington State. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone <laughs> else. Is that where the Arbor Day Foundation is? <laughs> oh, they're in the middle of Nebraska, aren't they? Arbor Day. <laughs> I've been to that Arbor Day once. Um, not, so they have all the trees. It's a beautiful little spot. The Arbor Day you mean that, that one's in Nebraska? Oh, that one is. Is that what you I think, think so? Because so. I don't actually remember being in order to be up there. <laughs> okay. So then the second one is the museum. And we started thinking we had enough for two trees, but they just can't. It's just not right because they have two half dead trees. They don't know what they're going to do with them. There's no room. Where would you plant a third? It just didn't work. It like it was sort of full or. So that was the idea of the native plant bed, um, which I think goes very nicely with our theme and we could direct people over, we, you know, it's sort of a today, I don't know if people are comfortable with that or that just doesn't seem quite right. Wait, with what, say, I'm sorry. It's a native planting as opposed to a tree, another tree uh, over at the museum. museum. Well, what, uh, what about a choke cherry? Because that's a, Tall, short, tree like mm -hmm. They're kind of a maintenance nightmare because they sucker so badly, and they 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 push that's out how, suckers. That's everywhere. how they roll. <laughs> yeah, they're they're they they want to be a shrub. They don't want to be a tree, and so they just. I don't usually recommend them in in those types of settings because of how badly they sucker. Oh, yeah. and they get so, can get huge. Yeah, because they do sprinkle at the museum. Are, are we aware of track bears too? So. Are we aware of? Restrictions on the funding on how we spend the funding. Um, this isn't it all through the Arbor Day grant? Yep, eight hundred and fifty dollars. And it's again, my from re my read, it said it's for tree planting. So it doesn't mention shrubs, but right. Yeah. I, I mean I think that um I did also talk with this a lot. It's the Montana Urban Forestry Urban Communities. Urban and community forest. Urban urban community. Yeah. Um, they also believe that the understory is important. And so I think um, because there's trees there and this one includes a tree, okay. I guess I'm, it, and this is just my personal kind of a pet peeve. These just trees sticking around all the place are fine, but they're way more to the story of where we want to be going. And there's a lot of places where trees really aren't going to be appropriate. And we still want to be promoting green space and yeah. planting. So Did you I, all apply for the grant? We Grant said that it was available, that they received it. I don't know any. Okay. And that it was 850, which I know they increased it from 750 to 850 right. this year. Yeah. So I think he's right that they must have received it, but I've never right. heard anyone about it. I mean, the other option would be to do like a Rocky Mountain juniper, something that mm -hmm. doesn't get 
you know, you can get different sizes of it, but something that doesn't get yeah. huge. Yeah. You know, and it's still a, a tree. Yeah. I mean, it's a tree. It's a great idea. <laughs> it's, it's really local. It's everywhere. Yeah. And hardy. It looks beautiful with snow on it. Right. And it's it's hardy to this area. And with a sprinkling system, it's going to have better success mm -hmm. than without. They are drought tolerant, but they the wind really does them. So it should be uh, sheltered. Yeah. yeah. And they have a sprinkler system now? They do. Mm -hmm. And she was going to get us the map of the system so we don't have to don't focus on the plants on that. It's more about the design. The plants on there are definitely not for this zone. Not for this zone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, there are similar that. plants that are native that could be, you know, sucked in. I think we passed around. Yeah. That. It just was kind of a fun way to say, you know, let's just like move this along. And um, we don't really have professionals to help us. Well, not that we're design professionals that we're aware of. We tried one and it went pretty far afield very quickly. And we had to nip it, at, you know, thousands of dollars and a big site plan. And we're like, no, that's really not what we're about. So, did you do this, Sarah? This one? No, we got oh. that off the internet. Oh, I and that. there's a dog wood on there. I haven't seen the dog wood. Yeah. Wood on there. Is that Dogwood shrubs, not dogwood trees. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if they're very good. Yeah, they're from where they're beautiful trees. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. the shrubs are fragile unless they're they need you know, like partially shaded. They yeah. don't need care of them. Yeah. yeah, this is a full sun bed at the at the museum. It's it's a beautiful spot. It's kind of a kidney shaped bed like that, mm -hmm. and it's out towards the corner. And um, there are already some. Iris and Daylily, but she said, you know, we could probably just take out two thirds of them. They were a donation 10 years ago and it's been kind of a, a thorn in her side too. ever since. But, hmm. So I know this is a small, this is kind of a small picture, but the bed is right, it's kind of between the pole and the tree mm -hmm. at the museum. So um, it's like right in the front there, kind of right. Where that big pile of mulch is right there. I mean, basically, <laughs> just a specimen planting. I think it'd be kind of cool for a friendly enemy. The signs up against the wall behind it, against the museum, show them, you know, fishing and har harvesting berries. And like, it's kind of a cool, mm -hmm. I kind of want to see if we can match up with the sign a little bit with the pictures of the tribes and the, the rower coming through. And just to say, like, it's still real. That's neat. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah. So, so we weren't trying to like pull one over on anybody. We just realized the time is short. We couldn't really have another meeting because we, so anyways, if people have different ideas or want to go in a different direction, by all means, we were just kind of grasping here. It's a bit lost. So we good with a tree and some planting at the library and try to bring a class and maybe try for that Friday, the 28th. So we're saying at the library on the 28th? Yeah, or library. So both right? of us will not be there on the 28th. Okay. okay. Do you want to be? Do you want us to pick a different day? <laughs> He's like, you're not a short timer, are you? Yeah, yeah I can see you. Is that your last day? It's, it's halfway <laughs> out the door. <laughs> it's yeah, it's some days up, so most of our staff will be you know, busy that week, and then they have Friday off. Nice. Uh, yeah. uh, that's spring cleaning. No. Twenty fourth is a Monday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or that was a I recall area error. Uh, mm -hmm. Source 24. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So you're going to pay for the tree. That is the extent of the city involvement at this point. Okay. <laughs> um, if he chooses any other, uh, the other choice will be up to him. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sounds like you get your hands full. Um, okay, so we need a team. People okay, or some heavy lifters. 
Yes. Yeah. So we will probably the next thing is to settle on the design and then figure out how much workers and how much prep is needed mm -hmm. and whether there is actually going to be a tree available by the 20th. Which when how when can that be known? The Sarah stands as AmeriCorps coming in. They well actually they're they're, right. they're coming in for that, but then they're, yeah, they're so, dedicated to some other yeah, projects I, before we start. But, but yeah. So, so if you contact know. Sarah, she may be able to schedule you a day or so if you need it in sometime in May. Wouldn't be any cold. I foresee the work that needs to be done at the museum as actually harder than the work that needs to be done at the library because the library has That's removed good. everything yeah. already. Um, so looking at where the tree is going to go and the the shrubs and stuff, it looks like an easier dig, an easier site than the museum where you're, there's a stump buried in that, that mm -hmm. bed of day lilies. And we'll give you that. one more option. Daryl with Expedition Church. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yeah, well, is he a... So they bring in... He's a good uh, citizen. Yeah. Yeah, uh, over on Merrill Lane, the churches. Right. But uh, they bring in uh, groups from the South every week. Um, we're using them currently to remodeling at the swim pool. Uh -huh. And then we have other projects scheduled with them. But um, if you're interested, you can contact Mike. Maybe they can arrange a day for Daryl Group to help out over the um, one of the areas. Yeah. So I think once we see where the sprinklers are, it's like that. They're only it's that not Monday just for Thursday, Jesus, so. but it's something like. The dig digging for I don't know they bring the equipment this game right sometimes depending They're, um they can they can use shovels yeah okay and and such no I, not gonna have equipment we can also just work around that stump and do the other two thirds of the bed like I don't feel necessarily that we have to unless the county wanted to go in and unless the county wants to pull it maybe that would yeah well city doesn't have a stump removal. Yeah. yeah, it's not. I mean, it's only it's like not that big. It just needs a mini X to come in and give it a quick hug, and it would be out. But okay. it's quite dead. It's been a long time. Yeah. It looks like you locate before you do that. Exactly. Yeah. And same with the library, because I don't think they really. Yeah. Well, we won't. And you can't. You have to locate within seven days. Well, we're not going to locate on private property, so we're not going to find sprinkler systems. We're just talking about yeah. sewer water, yeah, gas, yeah. stuff like that. No, I understand. Okay. Yeah, and these are both public properties, right? So yeah. we wouldn't be going up on the library long. They would not. That's just because the just line where the it comes curve. in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's so high there. Yeah. Well, it's it's in the yeah. Okay. Good point. So what has to happen? Before digging at the library, you need to come here with identifying what's there. No, if it's on their property, this, you you know, don't that'll be up to them to make the call or to if it's on in the boulevard between the sidewalk or street and the sidewalk, then it'll be uh, city or gas or whatever. I'm guessing they were going to mark up towards the building, yeah. anyways. But you still want to know because you want to know, know what the pipeline is. Yeah, you don't want to know something. Yeah. Okay. And Thomas knows how to do locates. Yes. But just who's going to call in for the locates, though? We don't have a planting date, so we'll have that. to wait until. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's three days. Yeah. That's that's three day lead time? Yeah. Up to three days. Up to before you actually plan. What do you think, as far as the tree, how, when would you know, or when would they know when it could be there? Um, I tried to ask them that yesterday, but it's hard to know what trucks are coming in, and they're a big operation over there. So right. um, I remember that time of year, and it was just like, the it's truck driver would go the day before and say, we're going to be there tomorrow. And you're like, great. Right. Right. Yeah. So um, um, I just have to do I guess what we'll have to do is um, they said we could draw some paperwork to put our name on the tree. And then um, once they come in, they'll let us. <laughs> I have the equipment available to pick it up and bring it over. So, 
So there is there a chance that we won't have a tree, and so we can't really move forward. We can't plan the, the plant. Plan the okay. We could right. maybe plant all of the smaller plants and then have yeah. a marker where this is where a tree will go. Yeah, dig a hole. I don't know if there's anything I, wrong with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And take a picture and put it on a stick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a great cardboard yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, there are the cities can be um, and the utilities are going to be doing uh, yes, at really least 100 okay. rotates in the next four weeks. So that's just ELM does the rotates. The city doesn't do them. Yeah, city does do them. Oh, they you're do doing their part now? And utilities. We, we do water and sewer. Oh, okay. okay. We don't do gas. We'll do gas or yeah. whatever. But we still have a hundred going on the next few yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't done that yet. Our, once the locates are done, we we don't do any locates. We just approve the dig site after the locates are done. Yeah, that's very easy. Okay, so and we're not planning on any boulevard, so. They're both well into the properties. It sounds like it's all doable. So I was thinking no tree, but that you can get over that too. And get a with a stick and a picture. I, I tree back so yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. See yeah, it is photo a photo op. Mm -hmm. A number of the other communities wait because and of this. They because stopped, they don't have stop. They can't even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still frozen a lot of places. Yeah. Frozen here four days ago. Yeah. Okay, so find a tree, find a finalize the design, and get those plants. Mindful of the budget. Um, find some kids. Mm -hmm. and get everything located that we need to locate so we can be safe. And then how involved do people want to plant? Do you want to show up? Do you want to be in the newspaper? Do you want to go Saturday at the museum and be there for an hour and describe what we're up to? What, what are people's feelings? What's most needed? That's up to this group. <laughs> we could plant and call the newspaper and call it good. We could, you know, make a presentation. We could, oh yeah, I want to get labels too for the plants. Um, so how do you see doing that or? Yeah, that's part of them. Oh, okay. We might have to use temporary, but if there's money in the budget, you can get a little plaque. So it's little, okay. So people can say, I love that. What is it? Mm -hmm. Who's house? in charge of the budget for this? Who's in charge of the budget? Yeah. Um, once we get our bids, that's all. Yeah, I don't know. Is it is it uh, Lisa? Who's the budget? Paige? Paige, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So having the budget and sort of tracking it and knowing what we're going to spend would be helpful for next year, I would think. Um, help. Sure. All the, you know, you were just mentioning labels and things like yeah. that. So, yeah, that'd be a good. Yeah, we're not going to spend any until so this is all worked out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do we have a budget breakdown? Would you have a tree last order, right? I will have a tree order after this meeting. Okay. Yes, I just was wanting, I didn't want to do anything until mm -hmm. we had a chance to discuss it. So, do we have a budget? We have a down from last year. year. She, she's out until Monday. Most of the she last year farm to school bought fair root trees, so they got quite a few of them. And then she also got soil amendments, stakes, tie outs. Right. Um, oh, that's, that's that stuff, you know. and Tyler said he was buying the trees too. Do you know who Tyler is? Oh, yeah. Tyler. Got, Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. So that may be an option to buy him also. I don't know what he's got. Yeah, these are kind of an unusual tree. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Cashman's usually has a really cool select good selection. These are the type of tree you have to order like last fall. Mm -hmm. I have it coming in now, but 
I can check. Does everybody know what that is? There's pictures here. They're very cultural. The and pictures, the ones that are in my yard. Friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but you could probably get a What's that? You probably get a juniper. Junipers are super. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And perennials. Yeah, and I asked about great native furniture. Yeah, they do. And I thought it was sort of the idea was to go and pick some native plants from their selection, especially if they've overwintered. I'm all good. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I have to go back Monday and Wednesday. Thank you. Great. <laughs> do, we, do you want to make the list or do you want, um, we should probably, I mean, I'm fine with matching them just about, so we don't have to do this for two different locations, just to use mm -hmm. the same plant. Um, are these the costs for the, the uh, side leaf? Mm -hmm. and, and whatever they have, and you get, we'll pay for them. Okay. okay. So Perfect. they have a six and not a five, or whatever. Exactly. Uh, we're not worried about that. So to clarify, I can go to Cashman's, find out what they have for full sun gardens and perennials. And what I mean, you want to make a list or a... yeah, I think we should probably discuss a list. I have some yeah. suggestions okay. to put on that list of things that are pollinator friendly, drought tolerant, that work for you. So if you sent me that, I could. Do you want me to email a list to you, or can we talk about the list right now? I mean, I mean, just settle. And you know, we just need three of this and four of that, and we can sort of. I mean, this isn't going to be. It's not going to be a huge. It just depends on the size of crop they come in. That's where mm -hmm. you're going to run into the pricing. Exactly. So, um, rabbit brush is a really great um, bee friendly plant that is, it's kind of big actually, but it's a nice, it's a really it's nice, nice yeah. drought tolerant plant. Um, mm -hmm. If we want another fruiting, mm -hmm. there is a choke berry that's really nice. It gets a little bigger. Um, or the service okay. berry. Service berry is also a native plant. You know, yeah. And then, um, you know, if you wanted to put sage, a sagebrush in there, or a couple of sagebrush, that's another one that is very native, very drought tolerant. Artemisia. Mm -hmm. Did you want to make, say, you know, X number of shrubs, X number of perennials type of deal? Yeah, I would say like probably three to five shrubs and then like, I don't know, seven to nine perennials or something mm -hmm. along those lines. You know, like three or four liatris and a few. Yes. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. it's spring, summer, and fall kind of thing. Exactly. Okay. I would really highly recommend the um, sumac, the trilobe or the skunk bush right. sumac because right. they get this the really fall. pretty color in the fall. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely big. Well, so they didn't control the environments and it's sprinkled. Sure, one is. And no, there's a terrible deer up there. They don't do they bother you? Oh, 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 is there a trap around the museum? Them? Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't eat it to the ground, but they don't bother to know where we are. But well, this, yeah, was, really this was just described as they get too big and then the, there's too much deer problem. Isn't there sort of a <laughs> next sort of complimentary to deer keep them? Yeah, the deer keep them. Trap. Um, they, <laughs> well, they, um, Oh, they okay. eat around it, so it's, it has nothing to do with the height. They go as high as they can reach, mm -hmm. but ours, we did end up fencing. Do you um, have tall sumac or short sumac? Tall, taller than so me. Have you seen the, like, the low growing variety of sumac? It's like I don't know anything about them that's in terms of what they like. Yeah, so, but that that's kind of, this trilo one is more of a short, it's like a three to four foot. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's dense, and it's like, it's more like what we have. So where we are, we have that growing in it. Right. It's the deer. They, they keep it controlled, but they don't pull That's it out. Great. That's great. Um, so, That's the native thing. so if you have like a tall, medium, and low, so you've got the service berry, how tall does gets pretty tall? They can. The deer will trim those as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so five feet. Yeah. Need to yeah. And then the choke berry is how big? Uh, I don't know what that is. The choke cherry on here, choke very smaller. I'd mm -hmm. say it's five, it's under five. Feet. Okay, so and then the place. sage or the or the um, rabbit brush are all in that two to three foot range. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then the the current or well, currants I don't really like them, they're not as 
friendly, but the sumacs are three to four foot. They're not super tall okay. either. And so then just maybe a little bit of. You don't want a current? No. Rybees, prunes. You just try and think about the golden prunes are. Um, they are wet. They really like to be wet. We have them all on the creek where we are, but we don't have them in the dry areas. So I, I wouldn't. They don't. They don't flourish when they're in a dry area. In an open space. Yeah. Gonna blow up in that spot like crazy. Yuccas are fun too, but <laughs> not exactly everybody native. feels differently. They are native. I mean, right, right. Yeah, but but they're just feel like they're in. Uh, what the, um, what did you say? Yucca. yucca. Oh, yucca. Yeah, they're kind of different, but. Um, it's the live the library side is full sun too. Yeah, just so no, really good there. If we go to that corner by the stairwell, it's it's certainly six hours, but you know, then when the sun goes around, it's not gonna get much. So maybe Dice Centra or Hooker or somewhere around there. Those those are local. Those are local. Yeah, the the Hukara don't do as well here. they they like they like the more wet sites. Exactly. They're more shaded yeah. too. They wouldn't they wouldn't do that's it what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, those wouldn't be for these folks. Um, if they were the shade, it wouldn't work at the museum, yeah. there. it would work at the library because it's down on the ground behind that corner, behind the steps, maybe, but it's a lot of sun and it's a lot of cement. Yeah, and he wants gravel, which I would really discourage, but if they end up putting in gravel, it'll cook that stuff. I mean, and as far as the perennials go, is this much? I would highly because, because of the, the slope, as far as uh, you'd love to plant, but it's so. Steep. Nothing well, what is is all on flat on the the, on the area we're talking about is flat. So we're looking at that one, like in here, in there. So it's slightly protected yeah. back in here, right? Really right here, it's it's sort of right there, there. Yeah. and it's all going out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but even just adjacent to the sidewalk. One of the things I'd throw out as far as the perennials go is grasses. Native grasses are really <laughs> cool and they do really well here. Uh, like the blue grama is a, just a beautiful little bunch of grass. They're really pretty. They're and really the beautiful. Yeah. Really um, the basin wild rice get really big, and he, Mitch is actually talking about putting some of that in kind of along the back to have like a bigger grass there. But um, just another thing to think about um be some grasses. Any mil would any milkweeds work in that spot? Mm -hmm. Pollinator. They're not, I don't see those as something you can buy like cultivated, mm -hmm. the milkweeds. I've not I've seen the um the bee balm. You can do bee balm. Yeah, That's a really good it. one. Yeah, it's it's great. yeah. Oh, um, but like the liatris is a really nice one. That's the tall with the purple yeah. one on the top. There are some really nice sticky geraniums, not the traditional drain sticky geranium. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a that's a really good one as well. Um that does well. Pink or purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The blanket flower and the flax are really nice. They're showy when you first put them in, but they don't stay put. Or we got it. Flex goes up yeah, there. So, or yeah. I mean, and any of the cone flowers, any of the echinaceas will do really well. And they're so pretty. And there's so many colors available. <laughs> yeah, I do see you. And the French sage is another favorite of mine because it's just such a beautiful. Well, that's too shiny. Rebecca, too Rebecca does okay here. Uh, the daisies do better than the Rebecca does. I suggest they have some beautiful original on at the, the cash means. Right. It's, it's just the, you know, depends on how native we want to have it. You know. Daisies are pretty short there too. Mm -hmm. Originals are. So. Um, sketch or just go pick seven to nine perennials, spring, you know, three clumps of spring, a summer, and a fall. I'm a big fan of just laying it out. Whatever. Right, I'm just laying it out. You know, right, so I'm good with that. <laughs> that's that's my own person. I'm good with that. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Do I go? Take my own. Yeah. Oh, she always goes in. 
I'm frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have so I've, I've appointments there next week, so great. It's Monday, so see what they have, and then if you want to send one of those emails, or you can say, you know, this is what I picked for spring, and this is what I picked for summer, and this is what I picked for fall, and these are the shrubs, you know, something five, three, and two, and sure. And you know, it becomes, I'd say your budget is at like 500 ish, 450. No, let's, well, let's split it 425. And then if that doesn't work, because if we, we can just replicate it in both places, I think that would be great. Mm -hmm. So very friendly, pollinator friendly, and beautiful. Native. I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. So I'll, I'll send that email to you or to me. You can send it to the group, but everyone just needs to remember one at a time. To to reply to you, like can, you can send it to everybody, but the replies can only go to the sender. Okay. Or one at a time. Yeah. And then we'll figure out about the tree and um, settle up on some of the new dates. We know the 29th Saturday is set. Do we think it's a good, I think it'd be better to plant beforehand, have it all done rather than plant that day or do people want to see it get planted? I think people would want to see it get planted, like just I think, think getting prepared for it. Yeah. Like getting holes or yeah, mm -hmm. it laid out and then just yeah. got it all in. sticking in a picture or the real thing. And show people how to not plant too deep and how to right. leave a well and that right. it looks tiny, but it's going to get this big. And oh, yeah. you're, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where the things yeah. fall apart. <laughs> okay. Do we um, plan another meeting? We have, as long as we have noticed, we can. <laughs> Regather next Thursday and everyone bring what they've discovered. Does that make sense? We can do a phone meeting. We can like just Zoom. That, that would doesn't work better. I think next week is. I can I can do whatever. Abby, but I think you're right. I think we need to gather again. One more where? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. last minute. And who's will um do we have a way of notifying the people who aren't here that that's another special meeting? Because we had agreed on this meeting last time, but there was no reminder. And I um, I think everybody knew or remembered or something. Is there a way to get a reminder out there? Um yes. Um, any one of us can do it and just email the group that there's a meeting. Um, if it's going to be on Zoom, that will have a link. So once we have a link, we can do that. Yep. Very odd timing to be on hiatus and have all this going on. <laughs> April. That's our regular meeting. <clears throat> Is it not? That's our regular meeting. Uh, third Thursday, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that'll just be a date. Zoom only, is that good with everybody? What's, uh, what's that Thursday date? 20th, that's a week from today. Okay. If you can send me a link, um, I, you can send it out or I can send it out in front. Thanks, Dave. Okay, are we good? So we're gonna come back with tree list or um, planting list. If, without a tree up to, well, let's not go all the way to 425 because we need to find out about signs. And other mm -hmm. things. For the tree we need staking, for the other we don't too much, um, but there may be some bar, there may be some. Those trees typically don't stake well. 
Okay. So, so yeah, it saves that's a good so the tree or the, the library that the emphasis is just the, the tree. Yes. Yeah, so, and the and plantings. the planting. And it, it's gonna get the, all the old native planting all around the base. <clears throat> okay. I mean is it, and you did talk to Mitch about that. I know he's got um his own thoughts as to what he wants. And he probably don't want it all native, but um as far as what's chosen, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that he won't wanted to be a part of that now. Um, he said no, but we will double check with him. Okay. He said well, as I long as it's native, do what you want. He doesn't care what happens in that corner. That's pretty much what he said. I understood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I am gonna. I need to. I want to see the whites of his eyes. So I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get together with him. So should I ask him? Sure. Then about that corner and. But okay. I mean, you know, you can't plant very close to a building, no. so it's going to be out at least three, four feet. And then it extends into into the lawn. The it's, we're taking like area. that area. Okay, and then he's just going to work around it with the rest of his design that doesn't exist. That's what he thought. Okay, that okay. could certainly change. No, it was I get pretty it. on the fly. I get it. Um, but so, how about I do talk to him and then and let me reconnect with you? Sure. As far as what I, okay, that'd be great. Sarah, do you have a person at Cashman who um, you'd like to talk to about perennial native perennials at all? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, have enough background on it that I just kind of go and take yeah. my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> so many new people last year. I yeah. yeah. You know, was I was little, lady. For one, one lady is really nice with the yeah. ponytail, the little short one. Yeah. One of the Nancy's. Questions, comments? All right. So we'll be meeting again next week. Right. I'm Zoom. Okay. Thank you so much. We need a motion to return. Hey, can you add mic to the <laughs> mailing list, please? I so move. Adjourn. Like an institution. I'm curious.